By 2020, it's predicted that esports will generate £1 billion in global revenue and attract audiences in arenas and online of £600 million, double the current figure. Last year's League of Legends World Final, where fans gathered live and in front of screens to watch players compete in a fantasy battle video game for a shared prize of more than £5 million, was watched by 14.7 million people simultaneously. So in this video, we're going to tell you that the excitement around esports is growing, but where are the profits? The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. It had been more than three hours of tense back and forth fighting projected across the giant Jumbotron at the Chase Center in San Francisco as the sold out crowd bagging inflatable thunder sticks and shouting with excitement since victory was near. The South Korean esports team DRX took its video game characters to rival T1 team's home base and smashed its nexus, a blue gem, into pieces to win this year's League of Legends World Championship. Fans roared their approval, fireworks erupted, winners hugged and losers sobbed into their keyboards, executives from Riot Games publisher of League of Legends presented Mercedes-sponsored diamond rings to DRX, celebrating the pinnacle of the professional video game scene. It was a perfectly choreographed event, the kind of extravaganza that game publishers promised investors in the traditional sports world when they first suggested they pour their money into the fast-growing exports industry in the mid-2010s. On the face of it, this presents a wonderful opportunity for brands to be involved, tapping into an engaged, youthful, passionate, and growing audience. However, the category has already become highly congested and has a darker side. But despite the industry's growth and its appeal to young consumers, desperate to attract traditional sports owners, the money hasn't followed. Some sports owners have worsened the industry's short-term prospects after discovering that the methods used to make money in traditional sports, like building fan bases in certain cities and lucrative deals with TV stations, don't always apply to esports. Most have yet to turn a profit or see a return on their investments, and the gaming publishers that control the biggest competitive leagues in North America like Riot and Activision Blizzard are operating those leagues at a loss or just beginning to break even. Though major esports events sell out buildings like the Chase Center and draw tens of millions of viewers in China, tickets cost less than traditional sports games, and far fewer Americans watch esports than 12.4 million who will attend the NBA in 2022 finals or the 17 million the NFL averaged for 2021 regular season games, a difference that means less interest from advertisers. Digital culture is redefining what sport means, and young people are redefining what playing sports entails. The esports world is made up of competitive tournament-led video gaming with professional leagues, mass spectatorship, and significant sponsors. And it's an industry in a state of unprecedented disruption, which means potential for brands to build new relationships and relevance with potential customers. Early projections suggest that esports revenues will come via three main channels, the sale of content rights to broadcasters, direct payments from live streaming services, some live tournaments can attract tens of millions of online spectators, and advertising revenues initially from the games industry, but ultimately from broader product placement. Esports is the first major global entertainment trend to take its lead from Asia, largely pioneered in South Korea, China now provides the largest block of viewers rather than the West. Pro players and viewers are predominantly in their teens and early 20s and are thus attractive to advertisers and sponsors. Many believe this will lead to a tectonic shift in media distribution, IP monetization and advertising. Three core elements are contributing to the esports industry's rise as the next major spectator sport, streamed competitions, with organized leagues, professional players whose efforts can be viewed anywhere, and live events in major offline sports revenues. It's why platforms such as Twitch, where people from all over the world can tune in and watch gamers or streamers play video games, is the largest live streaming platform in the US. In 2014, Amazon bought Twitch for nearly $1 billion, though some business analysts questioned the move. Today, Twitch has approximately 5 million active viewers who spend 106 minutes each day watching live gaming, which ranks higher than primetime cable TV networks like CNN. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This is all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe, and we'll be back soon with another video.